Right, I'm on my way back up to that hillside and I'm walking through the uh, the stream, the wood, the forest here and if you remember the other day I says hey I'm just going to look up there and see if there is anything, there should be something up there well uh, I've, I've done the top of the hill for a couple of ring pulls but then uh, a very nice thimble, ladies thimble, very small so they were here now I've got to do this bottom section. Keep your fingers crossed. Now, that's not a normal butterfly around here. Feeding on ragwort. Well, look. Magnificent pewter button. Oh, what a belter. I got a feeling there was a path up here and up there and going up to the hole. Look at that! Two shillings! 47! If it had been 46 it would have been silver! Ah, oh, But I may be on the right track! Right, 1927 half penny. Not bad Nick! <laughs> and at this point my camera went uh, on the blink <laughs> so uh, welcome to the roundup uh, <laughs> change my pattern for the whole day but anyway I, I didn't get any junk out today or hardly any and this thing this is on that uh, little field that was above the path that I said hey uh, well, I've been doing something up there uh, it's got a screw thing inside and I'm not sure what it is. Nice, large, pewter button. Big, big, big. A thimble. Very small thimble. Tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Couple of tiny buttons. These could be any age, these buttons, you know. Anywhere from 50 to 100 years. Uh, <laughs> the minute my camera went blink, look. Look at that, in a gorgeous? Rosette. Stood. It's off something. Obviously um, screwed onto something there. But uh, where? Where, where, where? Oh look, oh, they were obviously petals, can't be rose, too many petals, two, four, six, yeah, interesting, and it's heavy, and it's bronze, now, <laughs> how unlucky can you get, <laughs> look, two shillings, 1947. 46 is silver, 47 is cupronickel. Hmm. It was it was quite good ground up on that uh, hillside. Uh, 1927. Well, that's in really good condition. Nice. And a co-op token. Now, whose is it? Um, oops, no. No, that's a new one. D E. That could be, no, it could be Denham. Denham Co-op, which is a little village in between Keithley and Halifax. Let's see if I can get any better on this side. Right, well that's a new one on me, Denham. Usually the Keithley Co-op. So let's have a look. Denim, I think it says denim. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna settle for denim. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, I miss my camera. You know, I keep seeing things. I go, oh, go for my camera. Oh, the battery's gone or something. Uh, these are hazelnuts, and the squirrels have been at them already. Look and uh, eating the nuts out. <laughs> right now, um, I went down onto the path, and as I went along the path. I thought well, this has been done dozens of times. The, the path's about a couple of feet wide, it's really narrow and there's a grassy bank, on, there's no bank on one side, it's straight down the river and there's a grassy bank on the other. And about two foot, two foot six up this grassy bank, I kept finding coins. <laughs> but oh, they're, they're going through the wood look and they're disgusting. They're just falling apart. That's George Five Half Penny. Really, really, really going. Gone, gone, gone. Uh, indecipherable, some of them. Look, they're, they're just gone. I think one of them's um, a Vicky, young Ed Vicky. And then a penny. Again. Uh, where's the head? Oh there, oh, there, look, he's Edward Seven, so the date is down there. 1904. Hmm. And a threatening bit. George Five. God, eaten away to nothing. It's, uh, yeah, no, it's George Six. George Six, threatening bit. Um, because it's got the thrift plant on the back. But what? Uh, my goodness. The way they were eaten. I was hoping for a bit of silver. Silver would have been alright. But the only bit of silver I got was this silver plated little um, brooch there, look. Now that again, that was on the bank side of the path. So whoever had gone along here and done the path, they, they should have done the bank as well. But, uh, oh, I had to come away early. <laughs> Well, there was no point going right up onto the top of the valley if I hadn't got my camera, was there? So there you are, I'll leave you with it. What shall I leave you with? I'll leave you with that, I like that today. That was really, really, really well cut bit of gear, that. Probably come off a fireplace. Right. So, look, it is out there. No matter what happens, it's still out there. <laughs> All you got to do is Go out and get it. So until I see you next time, you take care. Bye.